What to back to the sawmill, friends. This place is a disaster. We got an inch of rain yesterday, so everything's a muddy mess. And before that, we had a few inches of snow. And it's warming up today, so everything's melting and the ground can't absorb it fast enough. We have mud everywhere. This place is a disaster. I got sawdust everywhere also. I need to think up of a dust collection system for this sawmill here. I had a friend of mine send me some hose a while back. I just gotta get the collector hooked up to it and get some kind of system worked out for that. But here's what's going on today, guys. It's not gonna be fun. So the first thing I need to do is clean out the sawmill building. We got white oak right there on the floor. That needs to be stickered and stacked. This white pine right here needs to be taken down to the timber frame. That's gonna be more siding. Got some stuff over there. I can't remember what that's for. Looks like some red cedar. We also got some white oak over there. Got two more of those white oak logs that we got off the horse logger a few weeks ago. I need to saw those up today and get this sawdust out of here. A lot to do, guys, a lot to do. So this is the part of running the sawmill that people usually don't see. You gotta stack these boards, you gotta clean up your mess, you gotta haul stuff to the burn pile. It's a never-ending cycle of the same thing over and over again. Not that I'm complaining, I enjoy every bit of this, but there's a lot more to this than just running the sawmill. Like this no more. Most of my life been waging war. I found peace. I could have swore. What she did shook me to the core, and I ain't gonna live like that no Like this, no more trouble comes when the barmaid pours. Another four man who should have found the door. Oh, when I get gone, you can hear me roar. And no, I can't live like this. All right, guys, this is an eight footer. This is white oak. I got this from the horse loggers there about three weeks ago, 16 inches on this end. And here on the other side is about 15 and a half. So we saw this in the five quarter boards as wide as I could get them. I'm not going to quarter saw this log because it's too small. If I quarter saw this, I would have a lot of waste and would not really get a good yield out of it. When you quarter saw something, you want at least a small end to be 18 inches, preferably bigger. The bigger, the better as far as quarter sawing goes. But I don't see any knots showing, no defects at all. It looks pretty good, nice and solid. And we should get some really nice high grade white oak boards out of this, guys. Five quarter on the thickness, like I was saying. If you're new to this channel, that's an inch and a quarter on the thickness. And something else, I get a lot of questions about this. If you guys can see me or not, you can. These right here are the drag back fingers. And when the boards get dragged back on the sawmill, when I'm running it down here at the other end, these fingers keep the boards straight. They go this way, but they won't go sideways. So it traps the board in here and keeps it, you know, from going sideways on me when I pull them back. I get that question a lot from new subscribers and that's what that is. But uh, we'll get this knocked out guys. I may call today because it's getting late in the evening and it looks like the sun's going down. It's gonna get colder, it looks like. But tomorrow we'll come back out here and finish up this white oak and do something else. So uh, I guess that's all I got to say about that. Let's get going. Let's warm up this Yanmar and get this knocked out, guys. And one more thing, thanks to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here on the channel. Really appreciate you guys. And something else, 
I'm going to leave a link down below to my website. I've been rebuilding that here lately. It looks a lot better. I've not updated that thing in years. And I'm starting to post on the blog over there more often. I did a real good post about two days ago where I talked about how I price my lumber. And it might be interesting for you guys that are out there trying to price your work. So if you want to read about that, it may help you a little bit. There's a link down below. Go check out that blog post. I'm going to be posting more on there, guys. I'm going to try to post... If not every day, every other day, but I'm gonna try to do it every morning. So we'll see what happens on that. But if I tell you guys about it, I'll be more amped to do it because you guys will hold me accountable. So let's get going guys. I didn't get no warmer out here.
John says, Oh, for goodness sakes, just drag the Xmas tree over by hand and don't waste your diesel. He's referring to the last video where I showed the tractor go over and grab our Christmas tree and take it to the burn pile. Well, John, that's about 100 yards from the house. I'd rather drive it over and get back to doing something else before I just drag it with me behind. I'm going that way anyways. What's it matter? I can't believe somebody would say that. What's it really matter? My goodness. Here's another disgruntled viewer right here, Kelly Palmer. I'm tired of your excuses. I've tried for years to watch you blame everything or everybody but yourself. I enjoyed your channel, but I'm out of here. And he went on, he went on to uh, comment more. There's like tons of comments here. He went on a rant on different videos. You are changing. Send this crap to someone who really cares. I will not join Patreon. Quit asking. This guy's got some built up anger inside, it looks like. You've, you've, what's that say? You have proven to me now that I cannot follow you anymore. Mm. Poor old Kelly there is having a bad day. Let's move on. I don't know what's going on with that guy. Doesn't sound like he's very stable. Dud says, what do you call your hat? A beanie, toboggan, or what do you call that size or style? We call that a beanie. Well, here in Tennessee, we call this a toboggan. And every time I say that in a video, the comments erupt with people correcting me. But here, that's what we call it. It's like juniper trees. We call them red cedar. Just the way it is. Paul says, sorry, but this video was boring. He was so bored that he stuck around to write a comment. Hmm. Here's a good one that comes up in a lot of videos. Bob, and I can't say your last name, are you in deliverance? Actually, I was in deliverance there, Bob. Thanks for pulling that out. Eddie Alvarez. That sounds like a very familiar name, Eddie Alvarez. I've heard that before somewhere. But anyways, Eddie says, why don't you cut that ugly beard? I can't cut it, Eddie. It's on every t-shirt that I sell and all my stickers. I'd have to redo my whole clothing line if I cut my beard. That wouldn't be very smart on the marketing side, now would it? 